Claire, you won't believe the dirt I found about Lila and Ethan. Dirt? What'd you find out? I found out that Lila's adopted, and Ethan, his dad paid the school to get him good grades. Where on earth did she find all that out from? Attention, all school students, attention! Girlie, you're just in time. We're about to expose some very nice people. What do you mean, oh? I'll do it anyway. It's not like you can talk. Just watch. I should do the right thing, of course. Lila and Ethan have been... You little... What's going on here? Your lunch break is almost over. I'd suggest you prepare yourself for class. Claire, thanks for that. I didn't expect that, and, um, if they found out, a lot of bad things could happen. I'm sincerely thankful to you. Thank you so much for that, Claire. How could we repay you? Look at you, making friends with the bullies, hey? Well, you're looking quite hilarious yourself. Hey, don't be upset. Firstly, you have us. Secondly, she was just using you. I should have told you that. This isn't her first time doing this. Ah, oh, look who it is. A mute who'll fail all her classes. Isn't that fun? You're so stupid it's funny. I could literally just laugh at your face. And the best part is, you don't have your so-called friends in chemistry class. It's actually hilarious to see how you can't do anything. Enjoy your pathetic little life, loser. You can't even talk. I'll expose you too, just you wait. You dumb dweeb. Expose me? Yeah, sure, unless you get hit by it first. I have an idea. Watch out, Sophie, you're going to regret ever messing with me. I'm a mute, yeah, but that doesn't mean you should bully someone. Recently, Sophie's been taking it too far. I know what I'll do now isn't right. Although, I need to put an end to this, once and for all. She'll regret it. Any ideas? Mm-hmm. She's going to head over to the ice cream shop with her friend Zoe. How do I know this? Is it really my fault she posted that on her Insta? Anyways, she'll be at the scary alleyway at exactly 9.48 p.m. alone. That's where I come in. Huh? What are you doing here? With your creepy mask? Leave me alone. Go away? You look so hideous right now. I think you'll be the only hideous one after this. Anyway, plan A was a success. Claire, what... What are you doing? I was called, on the scene of the crime. A certain someone had murdered this young girl, named Sophie Thompson. Nobody knows who murdered her, although this city isn't safe until we find out. Is there a murder on the loose? Are they in front of us? Or are we too blind to see who it is? It could be anyone. We decided to call in a few of her friends. They all said something similar. They'd never hurt her. What about her enemies? Did she have any? I mostly received answers such as, nope. But how can we be certain? I was told about this girl, Claire Mine. She was a frenemies of Sophie's, although I was informed she's a mute. How could she possibly have done anything revolving around this case, right? She seems to be an innocent person. Moreover, she doesn't have any criminal records. That doesn't mean I didn't look into her, though. I checked out her files and interrogated her as well. She didn't know anything. She wrote down the following. I was studying for her English exam, which is tomorrow. A couple of her classmates told me somewhat the same thing. Lila and Ethan were studying with her, at least. That was what I was informed about. So many stories, so many theories, so many liars. Who could be telling the truth? Was Claire really studying? Or was she stalking Sophie? Is it Claire? Am I investigating the wrong person? This is a case only I can solve. I visited Brookhaven High School. Whoever murdered Sophie has to be here. This school isn't safe without it. As for Claire, I don't think it could be her. Additionally, I brought along Destin, who was supposed to investigate her alongside me. Why him, you may ask? Well, Destin catches on any small details, and he'll notice something different in the blink of an eye. Let's just hope we're able to figure this out. Claire seems normal, and so does everything else in this school. What makes you think it's her? Is there any valid proof? I don't have any valid proof, no, although her actions make it seem a bit too obvious, don't you think? What do you mean? They seem completely normal. She hasn't done anything wrong. Maybe you're just paranoid. Maybe I'll go over to her house. 
Perhaps there's something I can look into, I'm sure about this. If you say so. Oh, who's that? Probably one of those detectives. They're on to me. Act normal, okay? Claire hasn't done anything wrong. Exactly. She's done nothing. Nothing at all. Welcome. Welcome inside, Mr. Destin. So, Claire's a mute. She can't talk from what I've heard, right? Hmm, correct. Claire, do you mind showing me around the house? Beautiful, isn't it? Claire, don't do this. 